Young man, his whole life in front of him disappears. A familiar story, yes, but this is no ordinary Joe. Joseph R. Cooper, perhaps the most loved sports figure in the country, vanished. According to Mrs. Elsie Melcher, a neighbor who asked not to be identified, Joe Cooper left his house two weeks ago. According to Angelique Bones, a nosy bitch who lives up the street, he took with him only a toothbrush, a wallet, a steamer trunk, and a plane ticket to Calcutta. Police theorized several possible scenarios of what happened with a man affectionately known to the world as Coop. Well, I don't know where the hell he is. For all I care, he could be hanging by his neck in his fucking closet. Scenario number one, he's hanging by his neck in his fucking closet. The night before his disappearance, Coop's girlfriend had paid him a visit. According to friends, they had quarreled. If you're looking for Joe Cooper, I suggest you look wherever you find the most heinous, blatant, and vile exploitation of children on the planet. Scenario number two. Coop went to Disney World. Here is a photograph of Joe Cooper taken just days before his disappearance. And here is a computer-enhanced simulation of what he might look like today. Oh, come on, Miss Reed, it's the dance hall club. These are not the kind of people to be looked up to or emulated. The severed and mutilated head was stamped and postmarked Denver. The owner still has not stepped forward. Update, the disappearance of the Milwaukee Beers basketball star. When Joe Cooper discovered that most of the workers in the Beersware factory were youngsters, not even old enough for prostitution, he personally flew to Calcutta. His new all-adult workforce now makes a decent wage, enjoys full medical benefits and in-house child care. All of us here are glad that such a terrific human being like Joe Cooper has returned. If I were a woman, I'd sure like to be his girlfriend, walking in the park hand in hand. Wrapping my legs around him, cuddling in the spoon position, our hearts beating in unison, staring into his eyes over our morning coffee. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, thank you. And when we come back, our next unsolved mystery. Come on, kids. Where did it go? We're going to the game. Yeah! Yeah!